Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord Dan. Today's video is going to be a pretty awesome little update video for you guys on Monster Hunter World. A lot of you guys have known about this for quite some time, but Earlier last month, I believe, Monster Hunter actually released a little bit of gameplay showing him themselves with the characters Ryu and Sakura from Street Fighter V. And since then, a lot of people have been going hyped about it and everything like that. People have been going crazy, including me, because I love Street Fighter, I always have. Um, basically, you will be able to get these skins in Monster Hunter World. And this will actually mark the first collaboration event in Monster Hunter World. So, earlier today, the MonsterHunterWorld.com website actually updated and gave us a little bit more of an insight of how we're going to get these characters and what the quests are that are linked to them. Uh, so before we get into that, all of that kind of stuff guys, don't forget to leave a like if you found this helpful and useful, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Come on guys, we can do it. Uh, so anyway, let us get into it right now. On screen you can see the website and it says Street Fighter V collaboration event for Monster Hunter World on PlayStation 4. Now I'm not too sure if this is going to be available on Xbox at some point, but right now all we know, well all I know, is that it's on PlayStation 4, so we're just going to keep it like that. And if we just kind of scroll down, as you can see it says, Ryu and Sakura descend upon the world of Monster Hunter in round one of Street Fighter V collaboration event, early for early access, available for early access to anyone with Street Fighter V or Street Fighter V Arcade Edition PlayStation 4 save data. Now basically what this means is that if you've ever played Street Fighter V on your PlayStation 4, do not delete your, delete your save data, I don't know why you would anyway, but please do not do it because then you will not be able to actually unlock these characters. What you'll probably want to do is that if you guys don't already have Street Fighter V, go and get it in like, I don't know, is there a blockbuster where you live or something like that? Go to blockbusters, rent it out for a day, or go and buy it or something like that. It's a really cool game and you guys are going to enjoy it, but that is number one of what what you must have on your PlayStation 4. You must have some PS4 save data of the game itself. And if we just kind of scroll down a little bit more, it actually gives us the dates that we'll be able to see this. So the early access part of it all, it will start on February the 16th at 0000, and it will actually run up till uh, March the 1st. And it'll actually introduce a couple of new quests into Monster Hunter World. And as you can see right now, it says event quest down the dark muddy path. The quest level is a free star and the conditions are H3 and higher and the arena and it's going to be in the arena. That's pretty cool. And the main objective is to slay a Barath. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple little quest. And it says here the items you receive for completing the event quest down the dark muddy path can be used to forge the following item. Full armor set, Ryu. Yeah, that is right. Then it always goes and say, then it actually goes on to say the following downloadable content will also be available a free guild card background and title, including um, you can actually pay on the store for the Hadouken and Shoryuken um, sticker set and gestures. Oh, wait, no, you get a sticker set from uh, Street Fighter V and you also get the gestures Hadouken and Shoryuken. Okay, so that's pretty. That's pretty cool, in my opinion, so yeah. And then, um, also it says, the second round of the Street Fighter V collaboration event will feature a full armor set that will let you unlock, uh, that will let you look just like Sakura. Check back for more information. So, right now, all they're actually revealing is round one, which is how to unlock Ryu as a full armor set. Now, I don't think this will actually be, re re like, proper armor. I think this will be, like, kind of a skin that you can put over the armor to look like Ryu. Personally, I think that's absolutely cool. Who wouldn't want to, like, look like Ryu in Monster Hunter World? I don't know. That is crazy. Um, but anyway, guys, I thought that I would update you all on this because it is pretty awesome information. And I know a lot of people have been very, very excited to actually see this in their game. So remember, guys, February the 16th in 10 days up until March 1st. That is how you unlock Ryu. So please make sure to go and check it out. Um, well, anyway, guys, if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like. Have a very awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.